What are we cooking today, Joyce? Uh, we're making soup. When we were young, we, when we go to uh, like Western food, I always had that the soy sauce Western food. They call Russian borscht soup. Basically, a tomato-based soup. I'm going to cut the onion. That's a regular. I'm mixing the onion. I, some of them are yellow and some red onion. It doesn't need to be that fine. Smash some garlic and then cut the top and the bottom out to so skin the, the uh, tomato. And then you're gonna put the tomato in hot water. Is that a washed tomato? What kind of question is that? No, it was from the earth. <laughs> How long do you boil that for? Two minutes. It cracked, that means it's it done. Where? See the crack? Oh. I'm gonna let it sit here to cool down before I peel, burn my finger. Meanwhile, I'm gonna use the same water to boil the bone. This is gonna be tasty. How long do we uh, boil it for? Um, like five minutes. So, oh, the skin wow. come off, you know? Just like that. Just like that. If you put it in the hot water for too long, there's a lot of more red come out. You can use a spoon to scrape it. Cause that's a lot of nice color and flavor. Then you cut it up, smaller pieces. See the inside still cold. And then cut out the, the stem. Let okay, all the junk come out. I'm gonna throw, dunk it. And you rinse it. And that's it. That's the cleaning process. Vegetable oil. Not a lot. One tablespoon. The onion. Four medium sized onions. Oh, let it cook until it's soft but not burn. Like in the beginning, it doesn't brown that fast. And then you can let it sit and then you can do something else. But when it gets softer, it gets caramelized and a lot of sugar in onion. But you have to watch it because you, you don't want to burn it. And now, garlic in it. By the time the soup is done, the, the garlic will disappear. Now you can see that it, it, gets, it can get sticky. That's why you have to stir it more often. Open it up a little bit and put the tomato in the middle. Beautiful tomato from the green nacho. Let it cook for a little bit before you add water. Do we cover it? No, not yet. Tomato needs salt, right? Don't put a lot yet. You can always put salt. I like, see how it is. Almost like a tomato sauce, right? Yeah. Ooh, spaghetti. <laughs> You just need cheese. I'm gonna put like boiling water Does in. Does that make the cooking process faster? Faster, and then also that um, it's better. Because, like when it come back to a boil, I'm gonna put the beef in it until it's tender. How simple? But COVID doesn't care, it's soup. <laughs> Maybe you should look at it like this is sauce. That's true. Nobody understands why Hovind doesn't like soup. Because it, soup is the ultimate sauce. Boiling. I'm gonna put the bones and the beef in it. You cover it afterwards? Yes. Looks good, Joyce. Hey, it's gonna taste really good. Is the meat gonna fall off the bone? Yeah. Now I boil back already. Then I'm gonna turn it to simmer. Uh, an hour and a half? I'm gonna put a uh, carrot in it. I want to leave the skin on. Because the skin is, is good for you. Break it, make sure that it's no dirt and stuff. Or less dirt. <laughs> cut it up, cut, split it. Doesn't matter how you cut it. You know. It's all going to the same place. <laughs> See how nice it looks? Right. I don't think the meat is done, done yet. So I'm gonna throw the carrot in it. Not tomato sauce, tomato paste, much thicker to give some color. One big tablespoon. So that just is for the color and not the flavor? Not a lot of flavor. Also that it, it will thicken it a bit. But let this cook. I'm gonna turn this on high a little bit. When I serve it, I'm gonna put a chunk of butter. You're gonna love it. It's so French. So French. <laughs> this is Russian. <laughs> is it? Hey, anything goes in this kitchen. That's right. It tastes good, do it. Prepping the the cabbage for it, right? Just cutting it like a ribbon. I'm gonna wash it like this. You're not supposed to. You, you should skin, you know. But what? I don't know how else you can you can you wash it without cutting it up. Put the this hot in in there when I start the soup. I'm gonna cut it up into half, and then I'm gonna throw it in. See how does the how the color of the soup change? Oh yeah, it's nicer, better. right? Just a little tricks. A lot of tricks, really. How long do you wash that for? Very short time. I'm gonna take it out. 
I turned it on higher because I'm going to put the cabbage in it. I'm going to put a dash of oil because when you put new vegetable for the shine, not, not a lot. Just cook it. Yeah, it's going to soften. Okay, then I'll let it cook for another 20 minutes. Then they're pretty much done. Because you don't want the cabbage to be overcooked. I want to put some uh, fresh um, celery in it. It's just, you know, a little bit. How you do this? Get rid of the fiber. The celery you can eat raw, that's why I don't cook it for a long time. Right. And then you want it to be crunchy still. Right? Yeah, I want it to have add a little texture to it. Pretty, right? Colorful. I'm gonna take this out to cut it up to play. You can smell it, right? Yeah. You might even like it. Looks <laughs> great. I'm gonna put one. No, I want to put some butter in it. Oh, right. So you're going to do it in every cup? Huh? You're going to put butter in every dish? Yeah. It might need salt because I didn't put too much salt. Picture time. Picture time. Done. Thank you.